Hey folks, my name is Rob Satram. I'm gonna dive into Facebook, it's 2023. I own feed backgrounds to do web design, marketing, SEO for small businesses, contractors, remodelers. I'm gonna show you some tips here. If you're in Facebook, I'm gonna dive right into it. Um, if you're a remodeler, if you are a landscape construction person, you gotta show off your work, right? And one of the things you can do to make your life easy is to get organized inside of this meta business suite. So one of the things that you should be doing is coming in and setting up the meta business suite. And it's super confusing. There's meta. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive in and show you how to stay organized with your file folder system so that over time you can easily and quickly make a quick post that has um, a project that you have and it can stay really organized or you can make an ad that uses an organized portfolio of photos. So it's very easy to go in, create ads, instant experiences, reels, all sorts of things. If you do this, your life will be simple in when you're doing Facebook ads, meta ads and retargeting and everything. So let me dive right in. Um, basically what I want you to know is we've got over here, I've got a customer who um, what we do is we spend a lot of time staying organized. So we built new spaces, remodeling. When you come down here, we have a whole portfolio system. You can come in and look at all the kitchens, the bathrooms. And when we get in here, we invest heavily in making sure that we have fantastic imagery. So what I'm going to show you real quick, you know, we have before and after, before and after, before and after, uh, customer testimonials. We have a walkthrough. We have a matter port that you can actually see. And then down here, we've got all of the nice imagery. So what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna show you how to come into Facebook Meta Business Suite here and stay organized. So this is huge. So if you haven't gotten to this, if you've just been in Facebook, you really owe it to yourself to set up the Meta Business Suite at minimum. And then there's a whole other thing of business.facebook.com. There's kind of like four profiles. Facebook's a mess. If you need help with this, contact us. We will get you set up right. We can take over everything for you or we can get you set up really well and organized. But what we're going to do now is when you're in this meta suite, first off, a couple things you should know. You want to connect both your Instagram and Facebook page so that when you post on one, it posts to the other. Uh, another thing that you should know is if you go to more here, you can go to bulk video uploads. And what you'll see is there's a spot where you can drop a whole bunch of photos in there and it makes your life much simpler. But what I'm is show you how to stay organized with all your files so that you could post and do all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna come into this all tools part. And when you're in all tools, there is a file manager. So in all tools over here, we're gonna click on file manager. Now my suggestion is that you work really hard and very diligently to stay organized with your naming and your buckets. So it makes it super simple to dive in and make posts. So once you're in this situation here, um, what you can do is you can create folders. Now I'm going to show you how I do this. There's a little um, Chrome extension that we use called Image Downloader, which allows me to come in and download all the images that we have. It's kind of annoying in some ways, but when we get down here, I can download all the images super easy. So I'm just going to hit download. So we've got before and afters download them all. They're just going onto my hard drive, right? And um, what I want to do is stay really organized on this. So I'm just going to keep downloading everything. I'll pause this and then we're going to stay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab the name of this Plymouth 1980s two-story kitchen. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to name it exactly that so that we keep life really simple. In fact, I might even grab the URL and put the URL in there so that I can stay organized um, from this page. Boom. Hit create folder. And essentially what we have is we've got this folder. It's very easy. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit add file, add image. We could do photos, images, whatever. Um, but when it's like this, I'm just going to grab my Explorer and I'm going to dump all those images in there. Now I had everything, but the last one was not right. So I'm going to grab all these. You do want to make sure you've got the high end versions of them all, um, which is really important. So I'm going to come in. Grab all but that last one at 12.58. We're gonna, you know, the other thing you might wanna do is just rename them too. So I'm gonna rename them, boom, Plymouth Story. That way, um, they're very organized, just change. And essentially all we're gonna do is we're going to come in and select these images and that's one way to do it. But you know what's goofy? Is if you hold 
your command, if you click this media upload, there's another place where you can do this. And it's behind the scenes on your business.facebook.com, like in your ad accounts. And one of the little nuances is when you're doing the meta suite and I upload these images, um, I can't do .webp, which are the web optimized versions. Whereas when I jump in here um, to a, to this, I can dump all of them. So I'm gonna use this version. Again, there's kind of two places. It doesn't need to make sense. It's really annoying. Facebook has, rather than investing in the user experience for its customers here in 2023, they spent money uh, trying to do the metaverse and all this stupidity. There's a side of me that really dislikes this, uh, everything that they do. But if I hit done now, uh, you'll see I've got in these business, now there's a difference between ad account media in this and your business folders, but What's kind of cool now I can come in and just grab a whole bunch of images if I want to and I can I can do a, a number of things which I'll show you here real quick. All right, so once we've got them all in here, you can come into either the content part and start creating posts or you can go into the planner and it's really pretty convenient. So if I hit create up here, um, I'm gonna have access to these images and it's so convenient to be able to to post them and to stay active. So if I go to add photo now, I can go add from file manager is what I'm gonna do and that'll give me access to this highly organized set of folders. The folders are up here. So if I, I could go to this Plymouth 1980s two story and uh, you'll see I can just come in and show off exactly what we've got going on or we could come back into um, here where we've got the before and afters and I just wanna show some now, again, the more organized you can be, the better off it is. So I'm gonna go before, after one, you go before two, after two. And again, we all know that if you can stay organized through everything, it makes life so much easier. So this is a really cool way if I add those to a post, um, <clears throat> fantastic way to continuously schedule out and book things, but stay organized. So again, if just a quick recap so that you see it, you've got this um, oh, multiple issues, whatever. Um, so you can load them up in here, but if you go into the media library or if, when you're in the meta title or the meta thing here, you go to all tools, you go over to file manager. And then inside of that, you'll also see that there's a different file manager when you get in there, but stay organized, get your videos, get your photos, keep your shorts, everything in there, and then you can make your life a lot easier. Good luck, God bless. If you need help with any of this, uh, we got a little team of six of us here at FeedbackCrunch. Head to FeedbackCrunch.com and uh, we will help you create a website and ads that absolutely dominate. We have over 127 five-star reviews. I'm super excited about all of our work. Check out our work here. You can see our scores and scores of websites that we've done, marketing setups that we've done, and we will make far more money for you than what it costs us. Good luck. God bless.